Welcome to Cooking with Frank. Today we're going to make a fantastic uh, fish stew. Um, originally I was going to make this out of catfish, but unfortunately due to the snowstorms in the south uh, this past week, uh, no Publix in Florida had catfish. So what I'm going to do is make this with tilapia. Not my first choice, but I think it'll be fine. I've gotten five fillets or about two pounds of tilapia and I will cut these up and put them in bite-sized portions um, and add to the stew after these ingredients here have been cooking for an hour or two. Uh, you start out with four pieces of bacon. I brown the bacon and uh, put the grease drippings into the pot where everything's going to go and then I, I, I chopped up the bacon into small pieces that I will add along with a half a pound of andouille sausage. And also, here, we'll add this to the pot. We've got two bay leaves. This will all go in there. Then I've got a can of corn uh, giblets or giblets or whatever they call those things. And that's about two cups. And I'll add that into the mix. Then I've got about four, the equivalent of four medium potatoes, three to four. Uh, I bought uh, fingerling potatoes just because I really like those. And I'm gonna add that to the mix. Then one can of petite diced potatoes is part of the soup. That will go into the mix. And then of course, one can of original Rotel you know it, I love it. Rotel is one of the best things ever. It, you know, would not be a fish stew without a can of Rotel. That's added in. And then I will put in a can of tomato paste. Uh, this again is a tomato based soup. Uh, soup. And then our Trinity. Uh, this is one bell pepper, about two stalks worth of uh, celery, and one medium onion. Whoa, a little spill there. And I'll put all of this in. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic. And that'd be about like a clove. Add that to the mix. And then uh, one quarter teaspoon of oregano, or this is thyme actually. Add that to the mix. And one quarter teaspoon of oregano. That's going to be about a quarter teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Right, that's fine. And I'm going to add four cups of chicken stock to this mix and then let this boil and simmer uh, for an hour or two until the uh, vegetables get soft. Then I'm going to add the, uh, the uh, fish and again I said five fillets that I cut up into bite sized pieces and I'll bring that back up to a boil and bring it then bring it back down and simmer for 30 minutes or so more to get the uh, fish cooked well and then we'll have our stew and it will be one of the best things ever. Okay, we're about ready to add the fish here. Um, we've had the uh, stew going for about three hours to soften up the potatoes and other vegetables. Uh, in the stew and it's looking really great smells wonderful um, Originally, I said to add about four Cups of chicken broth actually I took that up to about six and I'll probably add a little bit more here uh, Just as it cooks down you'll add some more here are the fish uh, the tilapia I cut up into bite-sized pieces and added a little bit of uh, Zatarain's uh, big and zesty garlic and herb sauce uh, very good stuff. So now we're going to add the fish. Beautiful cuts of fish here. We'll stir that in. Oh yeah, that's going to be fantastic. And at this point I'm also going to add a couple, three dashes of uh, Worcestershire sauce. One, 
two, three, and also some hot sauce to spice her up a little bit more. And again, this you can add just to your liking. Uh, I like a little bit of spice, so you know I'm going to add a little bit of sauce here. And then I will add some more broth just because it's thickened up and some of that some of that has cooked down as it went on and actually this 48 ounce is a perfect size for this this cooking that I'm doing here and uh, so I'll stir this up a little bit and I'm gonna put this back on the stove bring back up to a boil and cook for probably be about 30 minutes maybe an hour if it needs to to get the fish well done and then we'll take it up and we will have a fantastic catfish stew one of the best things ever okay so the fantastic fish stew is done it just looks wonderful the fish cooked up nicely the best way to tell if this is one of the best things ever is to taste it. Now you won't be able to see my reaction but you may be able to hear it as I give this a taste. Oh my god. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. That is one of the best things ever. Let's get a little bit of that andouille sausage in this, this bite here. See how it does. Mm. That's ridiculous. That is, for a fact, one of the best things ever. Mmm. Amazing.